I've been designer for 12 years, working freelance, startups, agency. Now I'm a senior product designer and I don't have a design degree. I came from coding background and honestly, I made all the classic mistakes. Learning Figma before I learn what is the user flow, jumping between random tutorials and honestly, feel lost. And this is why I wanted to show you exactly what I would do differently if I had to start again. Here is something I see all the time. Most beginners, including me, only want to learn UI. Why? Because it's fun. You jump straight to design software, design some pretty screens, share them, get likes, and it feels rewarding straight away. But here is the reality. There are almost no jobs who hire in only for UI position. Almost every company today is hiring UI UX designer or more specifically UX researchers. So what's the difference? UI is the visuals, so the typography, buttons, the choice of colors, how it look at the end. UX is the experience, deciding which features should exist, mapping the flow, making sure it works for all users. Think of it like this. UI is how the car looks. UX is how the car drives. Nobody gonna buy a car that only looks good but doesn't drive. So this is what UX really is about. The empathy, the psychology and the usability. So once you know what UI and UX is, the big scary question is, where do I start? If you like me, when I started, you probably open YouTube and type learn UI UX and then you fill the loss in tutorials. You jump between Figma, courses, bootcamps and you felt stock. And this is exactly why I wish I had a structured plan, kinda like a roadmap. Something organized that stop you from wasting hours on learning random stuff. And this is why I recommend you using Notion. Notion is all in one workspace when you can plan, take notes, build databases, basically plan whole your life. Personally, I use it for my work, my personal goals, even content planning, all in Notion. So when it comes to learning UI UX, you don't wanna just learn Figma. You also need to cover UX laws, accessibility and research. To make it easier, I've created a pre-filled Notion template for you. It includes a free month roadmap plus free resources where you can learn each topic from. The link is in the description so you can grab it and use it right away. And the cool thing is if you do in a bootcamp or a course or you go in uni, you can adjust this to your own needs. You can even ask Notion AI to build a database jars for you. For example, build me a 12 week plan for five hours a week. And it doesn't stop there. The Notion AI can literally act as your mentor. The first thing I would ask Notion AI is to generate a practice brief. For example, create a design challenge for a grocery shopping app or write a brief for a mobile banking app focused on accessibility or give me a case study prompt for redesigning a travel booking flow. And this way you're gonna have less generic brief, more problem focused and enough ideas to practice. You can ask it to review your case study like a hiring manager, summarize your note into key insights, or even to draft you a cover letter. It's not replacing the human mentor, but it's gonna point you in the good direction. So once you got your roadmap, you are gonna start with the basics. For design software, I would use Figma. It's the most common, is required by the most companies. You can learn it for free from Figma official channel or other creators tutorials. Then do this weekly. Screenshot up, paste it in Figma and trace it one to one. Fonts, spacing, layout. This way you're gonna learn the structure the fastest. And once you're comfortable with that, you're gonna move into the flows. So instead of designing one screen, you're gonna design the whole process. For example, sign up, where you got the email, the password, profile pictures, username, success screen. Thing to remember is when you're starting out, don't try to reinvent the wheel. My recommendation is to go to Apple on a Google store and read the reviews. Find the complaints and redesign around them. Or build around your own frustrations. Those daily pain points can become a great project. And lastly, document everything. The wine frames, the sketches, notes and the final design. You can paste it all in Notion and ask him to help you write a case study. For example, you can ask it to turn this into a free paragraph case study in a professional tone, or you can ask it to summarize this project as if I'm applying for junior role, or even review case study like a hiring manager. Do that three times and you have a job ready portfolio. But having portfolio is not the same as having job interviews. And I wish someone told me earlier about the power of networking. Once you got your portfolio, you have to start networking. I wish I did this earlier because skills don't get you a job. Connections and strategy do. Here is one of the biggest lessons I learned going through different job interviews. 
you actually have much bigger chances to get a junior position if you apply to bigger companies with UI UX department or product department. That's because they have capacity to train you in your role. Some of them have even a training program like three to six months when you're gonna learn everything on the job while getting paid. And this is where I would use Notion again. You can track where you apply to, when to follow up, or even you can ask him to draft the messages like for LinkedIn or email. And the last but not least is the job interviews. When I started in design industry, those interviews were usually one stage. And recently, when I was coming back from maternity and I was looking for a new job, I had interview that lasted six or seven stages. So you want to make sure you are prepared as much as possible. You can practice the most common interview question, ask Notion AI to ask like a hiring manager and you're going to draft your response and it's going to give you initial feedback. Is it a good response or bad response? Spend some time to work on your presentation skills. So take your portfolio and try present it to someone, even if it's mirror. You want to be super confident about your portfolio. And if someone asks questions about your case study, you want to be prepared for that as well. Interviews are really stressful, but this way you can be at least a little bit more confident. You might get rejected many times, have imposter syndrome about your skills, and that's absolutely normal. UI UX is same as any other skills. You can learn it, you don't need design degree, and you don't have to be young. And that was it for today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget about the Notion template link, and see you next time. Bye!